Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all having a great day. Guys, in this video, I want to talk about Grin. And they have a few ASIC manufacturers that have been creating ASICs. And I'm going to show you guys that in a second here. But first, I just want to say that with Grin, you know, they started out with hype. A lot of hype in the beginning. And it's 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 super new like literally this coin came out like a couple months ago on January 5th 2019 it was launched so uh, looking at it looking at it now and the hype around it and the price and everything and now that there's these ASICs coming aboard if you guys remember shortly after Grin was announced and launched that uh, in a silicon and obelisk the infamous uh, Sia coin uh, ASIC miner manufacturer, they had a the, in a silicon, for instance, had a Twitter post saying um, is happy to announce that the world class engineering team is currently designing a very cool Grin ASIC miner to support the Grin community. We are going to launch our best in class miner early summer this year, and they announced this on January twenty fifth, twenty nineteen. So going now, I'm on Inosilicon's website. This is actually one of the first times I've been on their website. I want to thank a Discord member named Fang. He's the one who led me to look up this Grin ASIC stuff and he saw some pricing for it for uh, like the Obelisk Miner. But also, and now I'm looking at this Inosilicon uh, Grin 32 ASIC Miner for the Kakatu 31 and 32. So. And if you guys don't know, like Kakaru, Kakatu 31, and there's Kakaru 29, and then I believe Kakatu 32 is coming out in a year or two years. I'm not sure of the schedule, but they do have a schedule for switching the algorithm. So, yeah, that's that's uh, the proof of work. So, um, yeah, just looking at this, they have a Grin ASIC on pre order. And as you can see here, it's the world's first Kakatu 3132 compatible design, apparently. No risk of phasing out. Okay. Many times more powerful and efficient than the best GPUs, which I'm assuming because like the RTX 2080 Ti, I believe gets two or three graphs. I'm not sure. 1080 Ti gets about one to two graphs, I believe. And they said they will be announcing this on April 15th. So as of making this video, it's April 11th. And you guys will be seeing this the next day. So apparently power consumption is less than 500 watts. 93% 93, 93 efficiency power supply. 25 degrees temperature. Um, yeah, Ethernet connection. So just a, 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 like, a, like an, like an Antminer S9. Same, same type of body. You guys can see that. Uh, looks exactly <laughs> like an S9, but uh, they've made the specific ASIC <clears throat> chip for 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 Grin. So that's that's the in a silicon one. Now they don't show the hash rate here, but now let's look at Obelisk. Uh, now Obelisk has their Grin One. It's called Grin One, and as you can see here, they have the price. Uh, and estimated specifications. So, for example, you can buy a Grin One Mini for two thousand dollars. Estimated performance is seventy graphs per second at four hundred watts. Next one, they have a Grin One. That's just the standard one, it seems. The price ten thousand dollars. Estimated performance four hundred and twenty graphs per second at twenty two hundred watts. Gee, jeez. And then they have the Grin Immersion, $20,000, 840 plus graphs per second, 4,400 watts. Man, that's crazy. If you guys don't know, they do. They also have the, uh, what other, um, uh, Obelisk SC1 Immersion right now. And apparently that's being released literally right now as we speak in March 2019, 2.2 tera hash. And this is for, yeah, Blake 2B, Blake 2B SIA uh, algorithm. And uh, as you can see, the profitability is going down for that. 
But yeah, you know what? I want to calculate something here. So the Grin 1 Mini, 70 graphs per second. So I'm on the F2 pool. They have a calculator here. So 70 graphs per second, for instance. Right now, as of right now, it that uh, G, Grin 1 Mini can make $53.92 a day, about 19 Grin a day. Now let's go to the next one, 420 graphs per second. Oh, 420, <laughs> 420. And then uh, revenue, 114 Grin a day, aka, and that leads to $323.54 a day. Jeebus. Okay, and then the next one, 840 graphs per second. Oh man, 80, 840 graphs per second. 229 grin. You can mine 229 grin a day. And this is grin 31, by the way. Uh, $647 a day. So pretty much your ROI, if you were to buy, if you were to have this right now, you would maybe get your money back within a month. Or, or more or less uh, if if you were to factor in that you know the if we're looking at coin market cap right now on grin you know they're rank 174 right now you can see that the price of grin has been gradually 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 coming down and uh, it's it's still gradually coming down and the I believe I read some articles that like Grin is by the developers that they've been seeing this gradual decline. But uh, another thing, guys, I want to mention is that Grin was supposed to be ASIC resistant, and apparently they are going to delay. They want to delay the mining schedule because then now they believe that the uh, it's best to leave the algorithms that they have now. And that it will bring in the manufacturer competition, and what what I mean, what they mean by that is the ASIC <laughs> competition, such as you know Obelisk, Inosilicon, and I'm sure you know good old Bitmain is going to get on and build them uh, on the network. So uh, I I believe the developers are taking on the you know Bitcoin SHA two fifty six. Uh, how would you say business practice? I guess I'm not sure. Uh, type of network where they're just going to be tons of ASICs uh, on the network and GPUs are just going to be phased out. But uh, another thing that's interesting is that with these ASIC miners, is that you know there was the Sapphire mining card. You guys all know the Sapphire Radeon RX 570 16 gigabyte uh, Grin card, specifically for Cockatoo 31. And apparently the average performance in that is 0.47 graphs per second. And you can buy it right now. You can actually order it right now for $329 USD. Now, uh, <laughs> in my opinion, just, just in my opinion, you guys don't have to take it for, for, for whatever you guys want. But like, not, not any financial advice or whatever. But like, just seeing the gradual decline of Grin and uh, beam kind of you can see that the price is just going to keep going down people people who buy in my opinion people who buy these these asic miners are going to be huge like farmers huge farms and not like a regular person is not going to have you know immersion cooling 20 grand to spend on a grin miner or 10 grand on a on a on a on a uh, 2200 watt that you need a massive massive power that you're not going to be able to, to do this at home you know uh, these are just going to be these are going to be businesses buying this stuff and like i said like this the price is gradually going down because people who are mining with these asics are automatically converting it into bitcoin so that will continue to see grin's price going down the value going down and the people who have these these ASIC miners first are gonna get their their money. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna profit because they're the first ones that are gonna get it. Like these are the businesses that are gonna get it first. So yeah, I'm just uh, I, I I wanted to talk about this kind of stuff because it, it ASIC miners are interesting to me, and I know uh, some of you who watch me. I know some of you have ASIC miners, 
And I know that there's other YouTubers that have ASICs and I, in my opinion, um, uh, <laughs> ASIC miners are a slippery slope, just, just in my opinion. And for Grin to basically, basically the developers not to uh, discredit them or anything, but GPUs are, are not, are nowhere, we're nowhere in their, in their future, basically. Uh, in the beginning, they, they said they wanted to stay ASIC resistant, but I think now they've, they've kind of shifted over to like, uh, thinks, you know, I'm just going to quote here, uh, thinks allowing ASICs to take over the mining market immediately immediately after Grin's launch, which is, which is expected by the end of the year. And uh, oh, what was another thing here? Uh, Chinese mining giant hoping to create some competition. And now that's another thing I want to get, get to about Grin that I've never been a fan of. And when, when I think of Chinese... I, I, I'm I'm half Chinese myself, so I I, <laughs> I can be racist towards my own kind. But because that China are the manufacturers for these ASICs, you guys can see that the pool hash rate for China is look at that is the top two, and probably top three. This is just says world <laughs> pool.btc.com for Kaka two thirty one. You can see China EU US. I'm pretty sure all of this traffic is coming from China. 100%, 100%, 50% of Kakatu 31 of the hash rate right now is 50% on this pool, which is probably China. And then there's Spark pool at 27.9 and F2 pool at 18%. I'm not calling China as a scammers or anything, but whenever I see China on an algorithm, I I get out. I, I, I don't I don't follow it. From, from my past experience and past past coins that I've seen, any China coin is just going to keep going down and it's going to be useless and worthless and I, I, maybe not worth like useless in a sense of, you know, the developers or whatever they develop is going to be useless, but in a sense of in terms of price, in terms of that kind of stuff. I mean, sure, there could be a huge pump of Grin because these guys who are the, the farms that are mining Grin are going to be pumping it up like crazy, possibly. Who knows? In the future, we don't know. But I, I just don't like seeing China having pretty much, I'm going to say, 80 to 90 percent of the hash rate for Kakatu 31 and Grin Grin 29. I'm assuming, yeah, see, Grin Grin 29, uh, Kakaru 29 algorithm is is dominated by China as well. And uh, yeah, so we can see some EU and US nano pool, uh, <laughs> barely a speck on the percent of percentage of of hash rate. So these these China has a lot of farms, a lot of ASICs, I'm assuming, and Obelisk and a silicon. They're all they're all mining on Grin and profiting, guys. I I don't know I don't know what to say after that, but it's. Just, just my opinion. I'm just putting it out there. I don't, I, I'm not saying it's true or not, but I, I'm just speaking from experience and from what I've seen. That's just, that's just what I've seen. And to end off, guys, um, with Bitmain, you know, they also released some new Bitcoin SHA 256 miners uh, at miner S7. This is pretty recent, and uh, a lot of people have bought these. A lot of farms. Uh, like big farms have bought these in my opinion. I, I don't I don't think any single per homeowner would by buying these. These are going to be uh, farmers farms that have the old uh, old generation of ASIC miners for Bitcoin and now they're they're upgrading and getting these new efficient uh, S7s 53 terahash. And uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I I don't know what to say. Like it's just the next generation, guys. Look look at these. Look at these. They got they already got the power supply uh, on the side there. That that kind of seems pretty cool. Um, but I, I'm not condoning you guys to go out and buy one. I I, I I'm a GPU miner specifically, and you guys watching me. I know you guys are. Most of you guys are GPU miners. So, but I know some of you are ASIC miners, and uh, I, I'm glad to bring out this kind of news and awareness. 
my, my whole point with all this is just to bring awareness to you guys. And I know for some of you, Mining Grin, maybe you guys are holding it for the future, which is fine. I'm not, I'm not saying don't, but uh, just showing you what's out there with these new ASICs coming about pretty soon. And with Obelisk, they said they were going to only make about 2,500 Grin 1 units. And it was going to be a first come, first serve fashion. And they were going to uh, close the sale on May 3rd, 2019. So in about a couple of weeks. Yeah, but anyways, guys, that's, that's all I wanted to talk about. That's just giving my thoughts and giving you guys some news and stuff. So let me know what you think. I appreciate all of you. Let me know down below of anything you guys want me to talk about. Uh, you guys have been giving, giving me a lot of good support and a lot of ideas down in the comments uh, and especially in Discord. You guys are awesome. My Discord community is seriously amazing. You guys are like just awesome. I, I talk to you guys on there every day. And I appreciate you guys so much. I love this stuff. I love talking about crypto mining in general. I love the whole ecosystem. I love the whole, a, lo a lot of projects I, I'm into and like just everything, guys. You, you guys know. I, I make a video every day and I, I talk about anything, pretty much crypto mining. And you guys, I, I hope, seem to enjoy that. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think. I appreciate all of you and I'll see you guys in the next video. And smash that like button, of course, and peace out.